Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content that we're throwing up. And uh, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And yeah, let's begin. What's going on guys, this is Rob, and today on our Beyond Omega Level series, we're gonna be covering Swamp Thing. Now, Swamp Thing was created by Lynn Wine and Bernie Wrightson and made his debut in House of Secrets number 92 in 1971. Swamp Thing's origin has undergone some retconning since his initial release, but the one thing that's widely accepted centers on Alec Holland, a biologist that was working on a formula that he believed would eliminate food shortages throughout the world through the restoration of plant life. Now, some criminals broke into Holland's lab, knocked him unconscious, and left a bomb that explodes when he wakes up. Covered with his formula and on fire, Holland ran into the Louisiana swampland, which reacted with the local plant life to create a hybrid of plant and human that would become the Swamp Thing. Now, what we later learn is that Alec Holland is merely the most recent in a series of avatars of the green, a dimension that's the life force of all plant life on Earth. Now, as the green's avatar, Swamp Thing is charged with protecting it from any threats, especially the rot, the force that powers death and decay, and the gray, which is the elemental source of fungus. And as a attempted to overthrow the Parliament of Trees, the group of former avatars of the Green that rule over its respective realm. Now, as an avatar of the Green, Swamp Thing possesses a variety of different powers, most of which are centered around his connection with plant life. Swamp Thing possesses superhuman strength and has quite a few feats that place him among the elite tier of DC characters in terms of pure strength. For example, he was able to restrain Superman, render Etrigan the demon unconscious with one punch, rip another demon known as the Monkey King to shreds, incapacitate Captain Adam and troll Batman. That's actually true. Like, I don't know if you guys know that. There's like, I literally have a video called Swamp Thing Trolls Batman. It's this hilarious thing. Swamp Thing gets Batman, if I remember correctly, Swamp Thing gets Batman to help him out by basically saying that like nothing ever truly dies. It just goes to the green, like it returns to the green, it returns to the earth. And so he's like, if you help, like if you help me, I can help you find a way to restore your parents. And so like Swamp, like Batman helps Swamp Thing. He's like, okay, cool. So like he helps Swamp Thing. And so the two of them go on their mission together. And at the end of it all, Batman's like, so what about my parents? And Swamp Thing's like, no man, they're dead. Like there's no way to bring them back. I'm like, what a dick. <laughs> It was hilarious. There's a scene where Batman's like, what about life everlasting? <laughs> It was one of the funniest things ever. I love that Swamp Thing trolled Batman. I thought it was absolutely hysterical. But in any event, Swamp Thing also exhibits a high level of durability. He's unfazed by bullets, has survived blows from some of DC's strongest characters, including Superman and Wonder Woman, and has also survived being hit with Superman's heat vision. Now, Swamp Thing also has a highly effective regenerative healing factor that allows him to heal even from extreme injuries and death, rendering him effectively immortal. He can regrow limbs and has even regrown his entire body in less than a minute after being destroyed. Now, during Crisis on Infinite Earths, when the anti modder practically destroyed reality, Swamp Thing was able to send his consciousness to a different universe and regrow his body, meaning that he is not even limited by the boundaries of the physical universe that he exists in. His most distinctive power is his chlorokinesis, or the ability to control all plant life. Now, when I say he can control plant life, I mean he can basically do anything he wants, <laughs> which is really cool. He can cause plants to grow, having transformed Gotham City into a jungle, regenerate dead plants, increase his own size to larger than an island, or decrease it down to a microscopic level, create structures out of plants, give himself wings, basically anything he can think of that can be done by using plant matter, he can basically do it. On one occasion, Swamp Thing even manipulated the microscopic plant cells within John Constantine's gut to cause him enough pain to temporarily incapacitate him and remarked that he could have killed him if he wanted. On a separate occasion, he performed a similar feat and actually turned someone into a tree as a result, which means he's able to manipulate matter on a cellular level. Now let's just think about that for a second. Swamp Thing turned a person into a tree, right? Like it's every hippie's dream to become a tree, right? You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that video with, with Don Cheadle when he plays Captain Planet. And like, dude, if you guys haven't seen it, it's hilarious. Like like Don, Don Cheadle plays, Cap the, Don Cheadle's the guy who played uh, played War Machine in basically all the movies except for Iron Man 1. He plays Captain Planet and he just starts like losing his mind and he turns everybody in the world into trees. Like it's hilarious. He's like tree, 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 tree. Like it's, it's um, it, dude, it's um, amazing he's like i did it they're all trees <laughs> <laughs> he turned every human being on earth into trees. But regardless, due to his connection to the green, Swamp Thing is also able to enter the astral plane and has projected his consciousness to other planets. He can also send others into the astral realm as he did when he separated Constantine from his body and sent his essence into the astral plane itself. He's also shown an immunity to telepathy as a telepathic attack from Aquaman proved to be completely ineffectual against Swamp Thing, which kind of makes sense because Aquaman talks to fish, not trees. He can also affect the psyches of others by releasing and controlling 
controlling the natural hallucinogens in plants to cause others to hallucinate. He can also speed up his metabolic rate using his control of microorganisms to secrete an acid strong enough to dissolve stone. See, this is why see this is why Swamp Thing is so underrated. People who are comic book fans will be like, dude, Swamp Thing is legit. But like, if you're not a comic book fan, like if, if you're not really reading comics and you don't really read Swamp Thing, you're like, Swamp Thing is a giant green, ugly looking guy who comes from the swamp, right? Like, it's a dude covered in algae. How powerful could he really be? Dude, this guy is OP, man. This is nuts. Like, see, I want to see Swamp Thing going on like a murderous frenzy, right? Like, I want to I want to see him go on a murderous frenzy. Just like run up on people and just like spew acid all over him. Just be like, Rah! like the Swamp Thing TV show. I think he did it. And see, here's the shame about it too. We are we are digressing so bad in this video. Here's the shame about it too. The, the season of Swamp Thing was amazing. Dude, I had no idea it was going to be that good. I was like, okay, so Swamp Thing, like a guy, a guy covered in algae who lives in a swamp. Whatever, man. He's like the old man of the woods, except he's all about plants and stuff. Dude, that show was amazing. And I'm, I'm so disappointed that they canceled it and that we're not going to get a season two, right? Like it's so disappointing that we're not going to get a season two because I, I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. I'm really hoping somebody else picks it up, right? Somebody goes to Warner Brothers and it's like, Hey, so like, since you're not going to give the people what they, what they want, we will. Like, I don't even know why they canceled it in the first place. They cited something about taxes or something along those lines. I have no idea. Uh, I think it's a bunch of malarkey. I think they canceled it because they didn't think it was going to be popular or maybe it was too expensive to make. I don't know, but, uh, they need to make more dude, because Swamp Thing was an amazing show. Here's, here's my question for you guys. All right. Here's my question because Mariah asked this question when we were both enjoying herbs. If you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. And there's this question she asked, Swamp Thing versus Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. That's what I want to see. I want to see that fight. I want to see Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas fighting Swamp Thing. That would be amazing. <laughs> That fight would be hilarious. But with all this in mind, Swamp Thing is essentially well beyond Omega level. Not only is he effectively immortal as long as there's even one spore of plant life left on Earth for him to regrow from, but he's able to control all the plant life on Earth, meaning that he's definitely a planetary level threat. Also, it bears knowing that we probably haven't seen the upper limit of Swamp Thing's capabilities as the green is able to funnel extra power to him should the need arise. So his power level can continue to increase to fit the situation that he finds himself in. And so although Swamp Thing isn't a name that typically gets brought up when discussing the most powerful characters in DC Comics, it definitely should be. This guy is crazy OP. So with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. Let me know what you guys think. Here's a, here's another cool thing too. All right, here's another cool thing too, because this little bit is for people who waited until the end of the video. If you didn't wait until the end of the video, then you're not, you're not going to know about this. But I am selling Rob Core Rings. Go to Instagram.com slash I am Rob Jefferson to get to get, you get the to get the details there we go i cannot talk anyway uh instagram.com slash i am rob jefferson i am selling rob core rings there and yes it's it's cool i will let you know when they are available and they'll probably be available in the next day or two but with that being said guys we're gonna bring this video to an end if you are new here to comments explain make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the rob core if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like and yeah i will catch you all later peace